Hello guys, it's me Amit. So recently I have developed an application and I published it on Google Play Store. So in this video I am going to tell all the features that it has and how you can use it. Well, it is related to a finance field, loan. So if you if you are into loan business, if you are either a loan consultant or you are into a credit manager or credit officer or if you are just a regular customer or a regular person, layman who is willing to get a loan and wants to see how things work, how much you will be paying. In that case this application is useful. So without any further let's do let's start. There are two unique things about this application. The, there are six main screens. So if you see loan calculation, comparison, change terms, and so on. Now out of this, the first two loan calculation and comparison, you can observe that in all the applications that are available in Play Store. But the rest of the four things are very unique and you might not get uh, you know any application that offers this time for calculation. Second unique thing is each and every calculator has a, a code or financial nugget I would say and that would uh, help you understand and uh, this would be in the top of the corner and it would keep on changing it is dynamic so let's see, open that right now again if you open it it will be something else so you can keep on uh, you'll be getting some financial nuggets on each and every screen so let's start one by one uh, first of all about this application you check it you can check out the version then you have share app you can share it to all these mediums next is rating this application if you, uh, if you want to share your feedback you can read it on the play store next is email us like if you want to email me something uh, you can straight away use this use option okay so these are the basic options that's covered now let's go to one by one feature first is emi so it's very simple you can just calculate the emi that you'll be paying let's say you want a loan of 11 lakhs then interest rate is 10 percentage the tenure is let's say five years if you hit calculate you'd say you'll get the emi amount that is 23,371. this is the emi that you'll be paying for five years there's also an option of months so in case if you want to instead of putting the details in months if you wanted to get it in year in, in months instead of years you can use this let's say around uh, 120 months that would be 10 years then the EMI would be 14,000 loan amount let's say you are you think you are comfortable paying 5,000 per month current interest rate is 10 years and you want to pay it for 5 years so 5, five years 5,000 and the loan amount right now you can borrow is 235,000 interest rate if you want to find out the interest rate that you can get a loan for let's say the current EMI is 11 lakhs the, sorry the current loan amount you want is 11 lakhs the EMI is 20,000 and the tenure is 10 years in that case the interest rate would be 18.25% tenure that is term term or duration whatever you like to say uh, loan amount, let's say it is 11 lakh again. Uh, EMI amount is 20,000. Let's say the current rate of interest is 15%. That means you'll be paying this EMI for 94 months. That is almost 8 months. Okay. So that's it. Next is loan comparison. Suppose you are having two options from two different people and you want to calculate what would be the effect. In that case, you can use this. Let's say the amount, loan amount is 10 lakhs. Interest rate one is offering at uh, let's say 8.5, the other one is offering 8%. It is 10. And let's keep the term same. These are 20 years. And it will be 5 paisa difference then how much it would affect you so the EMI would be 314 rupees would be difference and the total effective amount you would be paying higher or lower depending on the option you choose would be 75,000 again you can also change 8.5 to 8.5 and change the tenure that's the term 1 by 15 years and it calculates the difference of the amount of EMI would be 1169 and the additional payment or lesser payment whatever option you choose would be 3 and 10,000 so you can get this for loan comparison Next is change terms. Now, what is it? If suppose you have a loan that is currently active and there are certain changes that you want to make or in the during the term, then how it will affect repayment. Let's say you took a 11 lakh rupees loan with an and that moment of time interest rate was 12 percentage for a period of 20 years. And current you already served or serviced that loan for five years. So remaining 15 years you have to pay. Now suppose you have earned something during you, know, you saved some money and you have saved around 2 lakhs and you want to prepay that. So what will happen? What how, what would be the effect on the EMI? I calculate. There you go. There will be difference of 2400. Your low, the EMI would decrease by 2400. So uh, instead of 12,112, it would be 9,711. So 2400 would be the differential amount that you'll be saving per month if you pay two lakhs right now. Interest. Suppose uh, the loan amount is 11 lakhs. Interest rate with which you took the loan was 10 percentage. You already and you took the loan for 20 years and you already served let's say five years. So 15 years are remaining. Now there are certain changes in policies and the rate of interest came down to 8 percentage. In that scenario, the EMI would decrease. From 10,615 to 9,440. Suppose the interest rate has increased, what will happen? Then the EMI will increase to 13,825. That will be a net increase of 3,210. Next is change in terms or change in tenure. Now, let's say um, loan amount is 11 lakhs. Rate of interest is 10.5 percentage. Interest, so the, the period is 20 years. Remaining is 15 years again. And suppose this would be helpful. Let's let's take an example. Suppose you are at age of 35 and you took a loan of 11 lakhs at an interest rate of 10.5 percentage for 20 years. You already served that loan for five years, so now you are 40 years old. 
And if you think that at the age of 50, I'm going to retire, then you don't want post retirement any loan on your back. So in that case, you what you want is you want to ensure that you pay the loan within the 10 years, you know, of your service. And what you do, you have to decrease the the years, the term. So current term that is remaining term is 15 years. You can decrease it by five years. In that case, what is the new term? That would be 10 years. Head calculate, you get the option that current EMI is 10,982. And the new EMI would be 13,405. So effectively, if you start paying 2,424 daily, eh, sorry, every month, in that case, your loan would be completed by the age of by the age of 50 itself. So there will be no payment post uh, your age, post your retirement. Next is fixed in obligations to income ratio. What it is like? Uh, let me give you a small example. Suppose you are earning 50,000, then you are not willing to pay the whole earnings into an EMI, right? You will be looking forward to. Uh, like suppose if you are earning 50,000, you would say I would pay 20,000 per month as an obligation. That would be comfortable. So that would be 40 percentage of the of the whole income, right? So this is what it calculates. The so 40 percentage being calculated over here, depending on the. Now when now again in this 20,000, suppose you already have a loan of 5,000, whose EMI is 5,000. So effectively you have an additional 15,000 for which you can get the loan. This whole complex calculation can be done in this application, in this in this applications feature. Okay. First of all, let's say you, the loan is 10 lakhs, interest rate 10, 10 years of 20 years, appraised income let's say 55,000 and currently you are already having an obligation of 10,000, calculate the 4 year would be 36 months, the total income 55,000, out of the 36 percent it would go to your current uh, obligation, out of which 10,000 is your current obligation itself and the rest of the amount is 9,650, that would be IRR, that is 18 percent, so 55,000 is 18 percent you would go to, go to you know, service the current loan which you have applied and rest of the 36 percent will be going on the obligations which you currently have next is obligation now suppose you are aware about the loan amount you need the income you know but you want, when you are sure that i don't want to pay a certain more than certain percentage but say interest rate is 20 and you know it's 20 income is 25 oops so if you don't want to pay more than 50 percentage of your income then this calculator will help you understand that what should be the obligation that you currently want or have you can have you can totally afford so you can afford 8813 rupees current obligation and you can take a loan of 11 lakhs and your total emi both emi would not increase more than 50 percent of the income next is loan amount suppose you know the interest rate that is 10 you know is 20 income currently you have 50,000 result obligations you have 5,000 and 4 years 50 then it means you can afford a loan of 2 20 lakhs 72,492 that is the amount of loan you can afford next is roi suppose again the loan amount is 11 lakhs tenure is 20 years Place income is 50,000, place obligation is excess 6,000, over your 20. In that case, what would be the rate of interest? That would be 20.36. So, if the rate of interest is 20.36 or anything below that, you can take that loan. That will be comfortable. Next is the term or the year, the duration that you have is 11 lakhs. Rate of interest 25 percentage. Oh, very good. Okay, 50,000. Obligation of 50. Oops, more than 56 less. Since it's already calculating, you have already put a higher obligation. That's the reason. At least you should have a 56 thing. So let's increase instead of let's put this 50. Instead, this is the obligation to find it. There you go. So the years would be 11 years. That would be it won't be 11 years per se, but it would be 133 months. So that would come around 11 years. In that case, if we are 50. Uh, now going forward to income 11 lakhs. 10, 20, let's say income is 80,000. For year you want is, sorry, obligation, sorry, obligation is 8,000, for year is let's say 30. So to have a for year of 30 with an obligation of 8 lakhs, income of 11 lakhs, sorry, loan amount of 11 lakhs with a rate of interest of 10 for 20 years, you need to have income of 62,051. Next is LTV. So as you are aware, every company has its own policy to fund an X amount of the valuation of the property or the collateral that you are going to give or you are going to bear as a mortgage, okay? So let's say the loan amount is 25 lakhs and the property value is let's say uh, 75 lakhs so that would be 33 percent so what it means is you are giving okay it's the collateral that you are giving you are just one 33 percentage of the money in case of loan amount so this would help let's say you know the property value and the policy of the company so let's say the current company gives out 36 percentage of the property value of the loan so you can just take it 36 lakhs the value it's the value then the amount of loan you can get is 12 lakh 96,000. Now let's go to property value. So suppose if you want to, you know, you apply for a loan amount of 25 lakhs and as per the policy of that company, you can only get a loan for, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. LTV of, you need to have a 50% LTV, and you make 50, that means you have to give a collateral of 50 lakhs. 
Next is Fourier plus LTV. Now what is Fourier plus LTV? As you remember, you already calculated LTV over here and Fourier in this tab. If you combine both of them, that would be Fourier plus LTV. But what, why this is required? Well, currently in the current scenario, the banking scenario, many times the loans are sanctioned on this basis. Every company has its own policy, every financial institution has its own uh, you know, thinking and they make out, come out with a policy that there is a threshold. Some has 100, some has 120, some has 130, some has 140 and so on and so forth. So more than this, so that would be this threshold. You cannot go fund more than that. So let's go one by one. For example, this one. Let's say 11 lakhs. Rate of interest 10, 10 year 20, base income is 50,000. So obligation is 500, property value is 25 lakhs. Calculate, so this is, in this case, your relative plus 4 is 66. So suppose the policy is of 100, then you are good to go with the loan, like the loan will get sanctioned. Suppose it's obligation, loan amount, let's say 12 lakhs. Rate of interest 10, 10 year 20, based obligation is 50,000. Property value or the collateral value is let's say 36,000, so 36 lakhs. And the combined four you need to have is 100. In that case, what should be the obligation that you can very well have? You can have an obligation of 21,000. Still, you would be good to go. In that case, income, say 11 lakhs, rate of interest 10, 10 or 20, of price obligation 50,000, property value 22 lakhs, LTV plus 400, you can calculate. So, the income you need to have is 1,21,230 in order to survive this. In this case, I operate an obligation of 50,000, which is quite higher. But anyway, if you have an income of uh, 1,21,000, you can always go for a 50,000 obligation. Income, if you want to calculate, well, that's already done, right? Sorry, rate of interest. If you want to calculate the rate of interest, let's say 11 lakhs. Mm, 10 years is 10 years, 10 years only loan. Now, income is, let's say, 58,000. Obligation is 5,000. The property value is let's say 20 lakhs and wait and the foyer is 100 LT plus foyer LT plus foyer then the interest rate would come to 19.78 percentage then you are let's say loan amount is 11 lakh rate of interest is 10 appraised obligation is uh, sorry income is 53,000 I'm just guessing it 3,000 is obligation property value is let's say 25 lakhs LT foyer you're going to give to 100 it calculate that you go so the 10 year would be 51 years that's almost around eight four years okay so that's i guess that's all for this application uh do share your feedback guys and uh, there are also some more updates that are um, in the process and uh, sooner it will be updated and a new FAQ would be launched and uh, i mean a new update would be launched so i would do keep you posted on this you know, channel i know put a video on that also so do stay you know do watch this video stay tuned and share this application with all your friends it may happen that uh, on Play Store you might not find this application with a simple search as it's, it's new and it's yet to get the popularity that it deserves. So, <laughs> so you can uh, use this link. It is bit.ly bit.ly slash EMI CL -E uh, do, uh, do note that E M I C and A are in capital. So if you check out that website, you can it will directly take you to Play Store and to this link put you to this application. Okay. You can post your feedback over here. You can rate this application. So do, do share your feedback. It's really important. And subscribe my channel, that's youtube.com slash Amitdaibi. You can also follow me on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash Amitdaibi. And you can DM me anything if you are, if you want. So I guess that's all. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thank you guys.